Happy Wednesday. Oh my God. Whew. That was Elena Perez. If y'all want to know who that was, it's called I Don't Even Know Why. So listen, get your drinks together. Mm. See, look, it takes a lot of work to wind all this hips and body and stuff like that. <laughs> Thank you, Britt. Thank you, Amanda. Listen, it takes some energy to move all this body. You know, this ain't my uh, high school body. So, you know, this thing move a little different. <laughs> so, you know, I got to do the things. But what's up? How's everybody doing? Happy Wednesday. As I always tell you, a lot has gone on in the world. But I don't even know what to say at this point. I don't even know where to start. I don't know where to begin, but I'm going to begin. So listen, did y'all see the news about Snoop Dogg's son coming out the closet? Ooh. Baby, when I tell you he came all the way out the closet, I mean, he came on out in full geesh. I mean, all up in it. So if y'all ain't checked his Instagram, y'all missed it out because Miss Thing gave you Drag Race meets Ballroom meets uh, South L.A. Uh, uh, Compton Realness. She gave you all those things. You know what I'm saying? And speaking of, you know, all the things that are real. This body of mine. You know what I'm saying? This old body of mine. I know some of y'all are wondering how did I get this figure in this shape. And it really was a number six of KFC. <laughs> I mean, I'm just being honest, baby. A number six at KFC will do you right every time. Get it original. But listen, last week I had it extra crispy, and it wasn't too bad extra crispy as well. So, you know what I'm saying? Go down there to the KFC, get you a number six original with hot sauce, mashed potatoes, a cookie, and a biscuit, and put some strawberry jelly on it. So, anyway, I wanted to tell y'all about Snoop Dogg's son coming out. Because it's just people just coming out the woodworks with all kinds of things now. And I'm just like, I'm in awe every time I see something. I'm like, oh my God, Dwayne Wade's son came out as a daughter. You know what I'm saying? That that blew my mind a little bit. And then Snoop Dogg's son that came out. All of these legendary people in their field, their kids are, are just falling out of the closet at this point. I don't even know if they was ever in the closet. And if they was, they only went in there to get some lipstick, you know, and some, and some rouge. Because that's all the girls wear now is lipstick and rouge. You know what I'm saying? And they call that a beat. But anyway, I digress. But you know, the people are, are really coming out now. And I think it's so wonderful that people are feeling, you know, in this day and age that they can be themselves and be authentic in who they are and, and how they express themselves and their identity and all those things. I still don't know all of the things that make up, you know, the identity and, and, and all the acronyms in the LGBT. I don't know them all, but, you know, I'm open to learn. But I think it's really, really great that we are in a place where people can express themselves in any way, shape, or form. Now, I'm not going to say without, you know, any disregard or, or, or any criticism because that, you know, with, with great uh, power comes great responsibility. What's up, Kim? Yes, lipstick. Lipstick and rouge. I'm not lying to y'all. These people come out here in lipstick and rouge and uh, uh, what's that powder called? That translucent powder. I don't know what it is about these girls. And, and oh my God, especially for us colored people. Why do y'all wear that translucent powder like that? Put it down, that banana powder. Ugh. Okay, I, I'm going to leave that alone because I really didn't come here to give makeup tips. But damn, translucent powder, banana powder, please use it sparingly, okay? So anyway, I wanted to, to highlight those things. And then I want to come back and, and, and just briefly tap, just tap it on the shoulder. You know what I talked about uh, last week from Love is Blind. That's the name of the dating show. And I called the young man Charlton not knowing that this was the guy that produced um, the Housewives of Atlanta. I found that out kind of after the fact. And I didn't connect the two. I didn't connect Carlton from R&B Divas and, you know what I'm saying, the moderator of the reunion. You know, I, I didn't connect those dots. So I was, I was like, what are people talking about? But his name is really Carlton. And, and listen, I have not watched Love is Blind and I, I don't watch stuff like that. I'm not going to say I refuse. I just don't watch stuff like that. It's not my cup of, of 
uh, Pino or, or, uh, or White Zen. But I don't have a desire to watch stuff like that. But here's my thing. Because the people have, have said from the other media outlets that he read the wig off that woman. I mean, he read that lady's hairline all the way back to the crown and then back down to her eyebrows and it still didn't end up in the right section. They said he read the wig off of that woman after she didn't take the news of him being bisexual so well. So I was like, oh my gosh, so he pulled a real queen move in real queen fashion. <laughs> he read the follicles out of her scalp. So that, that to me is crazy in itself. But even crazier than all of that, how in the hell let me let me look into your eyes so y'all can understand where I'm coming from. How the hell you marry somebody sight unseen, really sound unheard? You don't even know if this bitch wash him and or her. I'm gonna say his and or her. I'm gonna respect everybody, but I'm gonna get on everybody's ass. You don't know if these motherfuckers wash their hands or not. I can't marry nobody, and I'm not fist to fucking get you know engaged to nobody if I don't know if they wash their hands when they come out the goddamn bathroom. That's what bothers me so much. You don't even know if these people use soap on their sensitive areas. And y'all had a nerve to be trying to marry some folks and stuff like that. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all something. And, and every time I date somebody, I'm always making sure they wash their hands because of my mama. You know what I'm saying? When, my, when I was growing up, see, my mom was one of those moms that leaned her ear close to the bathroom door so she could hear if your company was washing their hands when they come out. So she could tell you, go right back in there and wash your hands because I didn't hear no water. Oh, Miss Lynn, I did use some hand sanitizer. I don't buy hand sanitizer. Go on in there and wash your hands. There's some apple soap in there. That's how my mama was when I was growing up. Now, see, now that she done got a little older, I noticed that she put some paper towels and some hand soap by the sink in the kitchen so it's out in the open. So she probably can't hear as good and probably can't see as much. You know what I'm saying? So she put it in there so you can see so I'm always looking to make sure that people wash their damn hands. I'm not going to marry you if, if you coming into the kitchen at the family function with shit on your fingers. I'm just, I'm not going to marry you. I am not going to marry you. That is crazy to me. No, those little small nuances really bother me. And, and they really mean something to me. Please wash your hands. You know what I'm saying? And when you take a shower, don't just, don't just pat. Don't just, don't just pat it. You know what I'm saying? I, I need you to get in there with a rigorous, rigorous scrub. You know what I'm saying? Especially us that's a little hairy. I need you to get that spoof and I need you to get rigorous with it. I need you to be all up, up under there and I need you to be doing some contortionists getting all the way up in the back. You know, get all of them crumbs out, all of that funk on the back of your hair, your, your booty afro or your coochie afro, whatever you got. Double your pleasure, double your fun if you got both. But wash all of that shit out. I need all of that to be scrubbed out. I need it to be gutted, grouted, and fucking grilled out. Just out. Blew that. <laughs> shit, blew that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't understand people going on these shows and, and, and getting engaged to people that sight unseen, really sound unheard, because you don't know what they sound like between them walls. You know what I'm saying? The people that got really good at disguising their disguising their voices. You know what I'm saying? You know, people get get really crafty at at dis and, and you know some of them. And I, I'm finna bring this home because some of these sex operators be ugly as shit. Y'all don't know it, but if y'all remember live links from back in the day, Miss Cleo had auditioned for the live links, but that bitch was so ugly, and that voice was so deep, they had cast her ass back to the psychic network. And then them motherfuckers didn't even want her with a with an ugly ass and them lies she was telling. They, they cast her ass down to the prison and took all their money back. They said, no, nah, man, you know what I'm saying? They heard what she was saying and they thought it was cool. But when they saw that bitch face, they said, hell no. Miss Cleo can't tell me nothing. But these motherfuckers be ugly on the sex chat line. Ugly. The ones that be typing you to some ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Mm, it's so wild. Well. They be ugly. I mean, just ugly, nasty, dirty, ain't washed up or nothing. So I'm not going to listen. I'm just going to say this because I'm going to be done with this this show because I'm not going to watch it. But, you know, them people be ugly as shit on the other side of the wall. And y'all be talking about 
oh, I'm going to get married and stuff like that. No, I'm not that adventurous in 2020. I'm sorry. I need to know if you wash your hands and I need to know if you do the scrub-a-dub-dub in the tub-a-tub-tub, honey, because I'm not going to do that. I want to know if you're a bitch that go in there and motherfucking run the sink water and just look at the shower. I need to know them things. Shit, water ain't been touched on the grout since I don't know when in your shower. That tub is sparkling clean from never being used. So anyway, I just say it just it's all wrong. Don't don't get get you know. Uh, I want to say fiance, and I don't know why, but don't don't go getting engaged to nobody that you have not seen and or heard. Uh, uh, at the same damn time, okay? Because cause that was some foolishness anyway. And Carlton, get that lady her wig back. And don't set it on the back of her crown. Pull it back up where it's supposed to go because you know where it's supposed to sit. Don't let her put it back on her eyebrows. Give it back to her and moisturize and condition it because I heard it needed some loving. But anyway, so I, I, I had to talk to you about that. But listen, on some more serious stuff, okay? Let me talk about this election uh, uh, business and carrying on just for a second. You know, I don't really talk politics and things, not because I can't, but because I just don't want to get into it with people. Not that I mind, but I don't want to get into it with people because at the end of the day, people going to be ignorant about it, just like basketball, football, and all those things that people get in a hoopla about. I just don't have time for it, but I just really want to say that there's a lot of sensation surrounding this election. And, you know, with, with Trump, in the running to be reelected for another four years. There's so much upset. And I just I just wouldn't be doing my due diligence as a person with a small platform. Because I am the R and B diva uh, of of Facebook Live talk shows. Cause you know only a small group of people watch me and buy my albums and stuff. But they run over there and watch the other things. What's up, Yvette? So I'm the R and B diva of, of the Facebook talk shows and things. So anyway, I just want to say this, you know Dividing the vote is not going to get um, people who are, are opposed to Trump. Dividing the vote is not going to get you where you want to be. And I know that people have some things that they don't like about the other candidates. I've heard things about Biden. I've heard things about, you know, Bernie. You know, Bernie's burn is kind of dwindling. It's just a few embers in the fire now. But I just want to say this, you guys. You know, as as the primaries and general elections and things are going on, I just want to tell you this, you know, it, it, when we talk about numbers and percentages, I want people to really understand that percentages don't always tell the entire story, but that percentage basis is going to send you, you know, back to the Trump administration if you let it. I'm telling you, if you are a person that's in opposition to Trump and you are voting for the Democratic Party, I really want you to stop and think about the other things that the candidates are saying. And I really don't want you to focus on the things that you don't like. I really want you to focus on the things that you really do. Because each candidate is going to have things that are detrimental to some group of people or another. Just as Trump is and whoever else is deciding to run in the Republican Party, I don't know. But, you know, just be mindful that you really have to, to take into consideration. Kind of like when you're in a really bad relationship, but you spend a lot of time there and you have to kind of put that list together of things that are right and things that are wrong. And then you have to decipher. I really want you to look at that. And I really want you to focus on the positive aspects and not the negative things that you don't like about the candidates. And when it comes time, because one of the Democratic candidates are going to, you know, they're going to excel in their votes. They're going to, the, the, the basis points are going to be with them. I want you to really, really understand that, that at that crucial moment, when it's down to the wire and, and the person has accumulated those basis points from all the votes, sheer numbers are, are not the thing. It's the vote. You know what I'm saying? It's the percentage. That's what I meant to say. It's the percentage. So I want you to really, really understand and dig deep. And please, if you're a person that's just like, I just don't like none of these people. I, I just don't. I'm not going to vote for nobody. Don't do that. Don't do that. I posted the numbers and it's just very astonishing to see how many African-American people or people of other ethnicities did not vote based on not liking a candidate in their entirety. I want you to focus on, on find one thing that, that you can get behind in the candidate and focus on that. Because when it comes time 
and it's Trump against Biden or Trump against Bernie or whoever, you know, towards the end of the race gets there head to head, you have to make a decision. And I don't want your decision to be no action at all. I want you to really go in and focus on the things that can be done. Plausible things. And, and it's not to say that every candidate is going to afford you everything. Are they going to try? Sure. Are things going to happen? Absolutely. But please get behind something. Don't focus on the negative things and please don't split your vote to the point that if each candidate ends up with 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 five percent, you know what I'm saying, and 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 Trump ends up with fifty percent, okay? Because I want you to really really understand these percentage basis points, because that's what it's about. People talk about the popular vote and the electoral vote. The electoral vote is about a percentage, okay? It's about a percentage, and I want you to really really understand that. So. Without harping on it for much longer, when it gets down to the wire, whatever candidate you're supporting, please be sure that, that you can focus your energy in the right direction. If all signs lead to Biden or Bernie, I think Buttigieg already dropped out. I don't know if that's allegedly or not. I think he already dropped out. But but and, and then uh, what is that lady's name? I don't know. Whatever her name is. Um, I already know Kamala Harris dropped out. I can't think of this woman name, but I don't know if she dropped out yet. But but I don't think it's going to be her. I think it'll be Biden or Bernie. But listen, do not split your vote and be petty. This is not the time for it. It's not time to be like, well, I'm going to vote for this one because they from my hometown and, and they was for the food stamps and they were for cutting you know what I'm saying? The, the education, if the basis points do not lie with those people, please shift your vote. Because as these people are dropping out of the race, they are passing their constituents along to other people. They're endorsing other colleagues in the Democratic Party. And I want you guys to follow suit. And that's only if you are opposed to Trump. If you are not opposed to Trump, listen, vote however you want to vote. I respect that. Because I think every candidate, no matter how grotesque they are in their demeanor, how demeaning they are as a human being, how disgusting they are as a patriot, allegedly, if you want to support Trump, I know there are things that, that, that are going to be in your favor. Not everyone is in the bottom 10% of the population and not everybody falls below the poverty line. So I know that some things that the, the, the Republican Party supports is based on dollar signs. And that's okay. Not every black person is poor. Not every you know black person is gonna be for those programs that the, the, the majority of, of, of black folks utilize. They're just not. And that's and, and that's okay for them. But I'm telling people who are, are, are split between this Democratic thing um, and these nominations and these people running, please do your due diligence, sit down and really, really focus on the things that, that whoever is holding the majority of the percentage basis points in the Democratic Party, whoever is there, please shift your vote to them if you do not want the other person in office. Because splitting it up between the, the, the three or four candidates or, or, or the, the lobbyists or whoever, it's going it, to make you feel better. I didn't vote for none, neither one of them. That, that doesn't make your situation better. I need you to really find a cause in that person. Really find a, one singular reason in that person. One piece of their message. Not everything. Because they're not going to be able to, to deliver the entire booklet of things that they've promised. It's just not going to happen. There's too many channels to go through. But listen, if you feel like Trump is just not the right way, do not divide your vote. Find one singular thing that you can get behind. And, and, and that's what I want to tell you because it's, it's so important. Listen, I was checking my, uh, thank you, Lloyd. I was checking my voter registration because, you know, I've been here in, in Dayton for about two months. And what I realized is, my voter's registration isn't even, it, it is, is it, it's not even in the system here. And, and that is so crazy because I said, you know what, I want to check because, you know, 
everything's coming up and then you know november or, or you know is right around the corner and i was like i just want to be you know extra prepared and then there's some you know on the 17th and all that and i just want to be prepared everybody's out voting uh in their general election i think um is it the general or the primary whatever i might be confused right now but but people are out voting right now to get those percentage basis points behind their candidates and then you'll have the the you know the the other election later in the year but I, I really, you know, want people to understand that this is important. And I know a lot of people are deflated because people are saying Trump is going to win. Trump is going to win. Listen, black people, everybody, marginalized people, poor people, I want you guys to know that your voice matters at this point. This is a very crucial point in time. And your voice truly matters. When you look at the numbers, I, I, I posted them the other day. You know, my aunt, who is very enlightened and, and, and you know, very informed, uh, posted those numbers. And I feel really good about sharing those. But look at those numbers. And when you look at it compared to, to how Trump won the election, you're going to be like, oh, my God. If, if me and, and my homegirls and my homeboys would have voted, this would have never happened. So if you feel like Trump is going to be a detriment, I want you to take heed of all the things. Please check your voter registration because it, it could be, you know, I, I've heard stories of this type of thing happen where they, they push people out uh, um, and, and, and they're out of the wrong, they're in the wrong counties and, you know, all those things in their voter offices and all that. But that's OK, though, because I'm going to make it do what it don't. You know what I'm saying? Thank God that I took civics, you know, and I know how to do an absentee ballot, because if I'm registered in Texas, I'm still going to vote. God damn it. Come hell, high water and two bottles of white Zinfandel. I am going to vote. Okay, so so that's not going to stop me. But please don't get defeated. Um, don't feel deflated by it um, because you have some power. You have some power. Okay, and that's all I got on this uh, whole election nonsense and, and business and things like that. But I want to talk about something else that's important. You know, some, some, some family business. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, y'all getting y'all's taxes and y'all really finding out who your family and your friends are. And I want to say this. People will do what you allow them to do to you. They will. And, and, and you don't have to stand for it. If it's your brother, your sister, your boyfriend, ex-husband, whoever it is. Your mama, your daddy, your granddaddy, your grandmammy, your grandpappy, whoever it is. You do not have to stand for that. I'm so, so, so sick and tired of seeing people suffer, you know, mental anguish and, and emotional, you know, instability based on trying to help someone else. Please don't be that person that feels like because you have a blood relative or because you've spent some time, excuse me, with people that you have to do something for them because you don't. You don't, you don't owe these people nothing. And stop taking accountability for the things that other people do. When people fuck some shit up, let them clean it up. Let them clean it up. You know, you don't have to deal with that. And I really want to say this, this to, to my ladies. To my ladies. I don't want you women falling in the trap of these men and or women. Because there are some too that are out here praying. And I'm not talking about praying to Jesus. I'm talking about a, a cat to a mouse praying on the things that you're able to give them. I, listen, know that, that you are worth more than all of that. You're worth more than somebody just laying up next to you, you know, and rubbing on your thigh and things and stuff like that. Not even aggressively rubbing, but just passively rubbing. You know what I'm saying? Like they got a pet gerbil or something like that. And that really ain't cute. You know what I'm saying? When you really hardy and stuff and you like me and you got all this stuff, you need somebody to really get up in that thing and ride her when she bucks. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I digress because I was getting in the in the mode or something. But I want y'all to really understand that, that you do deserve more than that. And you don't have to give people. You don't have to give people more of yourself than they're willing to give of themselves. And that's key. That's key. And I, I always say this and I say this to my mother too. Because me and my mother just had a conversation and I told her, um, you know, she was like, I need you to say, I need you to say something. I need you to give me some of that, that, that M you know, wisdom. And I said, you know what? I'm going to tell you, 
you was wrong for allowing that foolishness into your home. That's what you were wrong about. That that's what was wrong. You were wrong for allowing that foolishness up into your home. I told you, you do not allow people to take away your security and your peace of mind. You know what I'm saying? Peace of mind is something that is sacred. And you got to protect your peace at all costs. I'm not going to let no sister come up in here with no drama, with no dogs chasing her tail. I'm not going to let no brother come up in here with no cat chasing the, the mouse, trying to get up in the Universal studio and things. I'm not going to do none of that. No. I'm not, my mom ain't going to come up in here with no mess like that. Nobody. You're not going to come up in here with that. And you're not going to come up here and tear up my shit. I paid for that. I don't give a fuck if it's this here Westwick candle. Oh, that was a, that was actually a gift because I really I really don't like candles, y'all. But these Westwick candles do something to my body. You know what I'm saying? These are grown. These are for grown people. These Westwick candles right here. And I'm not. You know they didn't sponsor me or nothing, so I'm not going to talk about. Too, but these are for grown folks. You feel what I'm saying? But let me put that back. You don't have to let people come up in your house and shake things up. I'm not going to do it. As a matter of fact. I'm going to stop you before you get to the door. Don't you even come down here with that shit. The moment you come to my some girl, I got a story. Nah, bitch, say that. Keep that shit over there. Go sit in the corner. Time out. When you get done with that bullshit, then you can come back. But but until then, go over there, sit in the corner. Think about what you've done and you've allowed to happen in your life. And then come back. Because you're not going to come up here upset my, my, my peace of mind. Mm -hmm. I work too hard for that. People go to work every day and be working for these people that they don't really want to work for. Hmm. Go on to work and work for these people that you don't want to work for. And then you got to come home and deal with somebody that's dragging mud on your good carpet. No. Uh-uh. You're not going to come in here with that. Hmm. You know, and my family knows. You know what I'm saying? They know. So this shouldn't be no surprise and nobody should be offended. But if they are offended, I don't give a goddamn. Because at the end of the day, if it's going to be me or you, if it's going to be me upset or you the upset, if it's going to be me not covering day or you not covering day, bitch, you going to bring your ass up out the dock. Okay? You know what I'm saying? My house is not your home. My room is not your room. Ain't nothing sitting up in here. Ain't no gloom. Go on over there with that shit. Luther Vandross had it almost right. Honey, a chair is still a chair, but you're not finna sit up in this one here. Look, I got another chair, but you're not finna sit up in this one here. You got to go. You know, and I always be checking for people and seeing. Oh, yeah, I'm about to come see you. What you coming to see me for? Look, I've, I've been out, out and about on my own for 10, 10 plus years. Well, no, I've been on my own longer than 10 years, y'all, but I've been away from people. Because I decided to, listen, let me tell y'all how I got to the space where I just was like, I'm not going to do it no more. So, mm. so y'all, I grew up in a small town. And, and y'all know a small town is a cesspool for, for family and friends and all of the people to be all up in your business and, 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 and trying to dictate what you do in your lives and things. And that goes for, for aunts, uncles, grandmothers, great-grandmothers, all those people that want to be up here, friends, people you went to school with, people you never even knew was in the school because they was back there somewhere doing God knows what. I don't know, probably not taking a shower or something. But, you know, you, 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 they just want to be, it's just a cesspool of negativity. And I don't do that. I don't do negativity. I don't do it. I don't take it from anybody. I came in this world alone, and, 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 and I'm telling you, I'm going to leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? I came into this world singular. Nobody was attached to me. You know what I'm saying? I had to figure it, figure it out. If I wanted to get on the TV, I had to figure it out. I came in this world alone. Nobody entered the world with me. It was me and my spirit. And all of my feelings, thoughts, emotions, and expressions that I had at that time, but wasn't about two of them. Feed me, and how the fuck did I get here? You know what I'm saying? And did you did, did she scrub a dub? -dub? <laughs> I'm just playing. I didn't. I was, you know that I, that was a joke. But anyway, I came into this world by myself, and that's how I'm gonna leave it. So I came in this motherfucker singular. I might live in here plural six or seven times over with I don't know who. God knows who. The person that corrupted me to eat the forbidden fruit. I don't know. But 
I know I'm going to leave this motherfucker in a casket. No, I'm not going to be in a casket. But I'm going to leave this motherfucker all on my own. When I drop dead, that's me. That's it. Ain't nobody going to be in my mind. Ain't nobody going to be holding on to my spirit or nothing. I'm getting it. When I leave here. When I leave here, I'm out. And it it's just me. And in the final moments when I'm sitting here thinking about everything that I've done in my life, I'm not going to be thinking about that time I should have kicked the bitch out. Because he and or she was upsetting my inner peace. And, I'm, and I don't give a... Ooh, y'all. Woo! Ooh, the spirit had come through me. I was... Ooh. Had to cover up my belly button. I don't care who it is. You are not going to upset my peace and you are not going to take away my balance. Because there's enough stuff that goes on working for people that I don't want to work for. I know y'all can relate. I'd rather be a self-made millionaire, but that's, that's on the way. To let somebody come up in here and, and shake things up. You ain't going to come in here running from no man or woman. You're not going to come in here running from no debt. Because guess what? When you when you tra trace and tramp through mud, traces of it come in your house. And next thing you know, your, your debt starts to become my debt. You know what I'm saying? That's how it goes. Because the bitch says, I can't pay. Ugh, I don't have the money right now. Ugh, I'm going to get you on the back end, Sue. The fuck? Everything I got up in here, I had to pay in advance. This hotline that I'm talking on had to be paid for in advance. So don't think you're going to come in here tracing your debt and your misery and your uncertainty and your shiftiness up in here for me to deal with. I'm not going to deal with that. No, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I cast demons out. You know what I'm saying? My energy is, is a pure energy source. I will cast the bitch out in a second. And if anybody is mistaken on how to cast the bitch out of it, your situation, listen, let me tell you. Raise on up and get the fuck out. Raise on up and get the fuck out. Look, you got to go. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's a stop sign. Uh-uh. Mm -mm, you don't even look right coming through the door. You don't even look right. No. Ah. 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 You got to go. Don't. Don't. Mm, don't feel like you have to invite the people in there. My family and close friends can be knocking at the door right now with some misery. And I'll be right here sitting here like, oh, damn, what is that? I don't even recognize that sound. Who is that? Who? Misery. You want some company? Mm -mm. Love don't live here anymore. I've abandoned thee. Love don't live here anymore. And be sitting here just as cute as I don't know what. And I'm going to go get me some crab legs when you get your funky ass off my doormat. Thank you, William. Or Williams, thank you. Yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Leave people at murder, you got to leave people out. You can't do that. You can't do that, Britt. I'm telling you. Because people, you know, energy is so real. Energy is so real, y'all. And I want people to know to the depths of, of how energy really works. Y'all know how y'all be at work, right? And you just be in, in a space... At work, as soon as you get to that particular space, you just start feeling some type of way. You just be like, "What the fuck is going on?" I just, I'm, mm. you know, you get to doing this here and stuff, and trying to, mm, you know, shake that shit off and stuff like that. And you just can't seem to do it, and you wonder why everybody in a bad mood in that space, cause don't nobody want to fucking be there, and they've left that residual negative energy in the room. So the person that was on the shift before you left some, they want you to leave yours when you go there. And the person after you're going to leave some too. And the moment that you walk into the room, you're going to hit that residual energy that's left. That negative, nasty, dark energy is going to be left. And you're going to be absorbing it. 
you know, there there are so many types of people out here, and, and I say this because this is so real, y'all. This is this is the makeup that we are. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're made of electrons and, 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 and all of those things. And I want you to know, it's like a battery. It's like a battery. If you don't constantly have, have that, that powerful current coming through, but you got stuff that's constantly draining it, oh my God, that's dark energy. I done seen a bitch that's been drained before. They look older. Hell, people I went to school with looking like senior citizens. I'm like, where's your AARP, stuff? Huh? You know what I'm saying? Looking like the Crypt Keeper and things. You'd be like, damn, she was a, a, a freshman when I was a junior. What's going on? And you automatically assume it's meth. No. It's all that goddamn negative energy that, that she got going on. Don't let people do that to you because energy is such a powerful thing. And, and there are so many ways that, that people, you know, invert and, and divert energy. I'm one of those people that I can I can absorb it when I want to at will and I can refract it when I need to as well. I'll be like ah 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 You know what I'm saying? I can refract that shit too. But there are some people that just walk into the room and they start absorbing that energy and they just cannot they don't understand why they absorbed it. That's just that's just their personality. But y'all gotta get in tune with, with your energy beacon and figure out who you are. Some of us absorb, some of us just give and give and give and give. And sooner or later that runs out. When you're just putting energy, good energy out there and never getting good energy back, or you don't know how to receive good energy back, you're gonna be looking like the Crypt Keeper too. It might take you a little longer and people might like you a little better, but you, you know, you're gonna be the Crypt Keeper too. And then you got those negative people. Oh my God, the negative ions. Leave them over there to drain in their own because, because a bunch of, uh, of negative dark energy people in a room with each other, they, there's, there's nothing that can happen. They just leave them in a cesspool of their own dark, nasty, the negative energy. Cleanse your aura too. Don't wear that. Don't wear, you wear your energy in your shoulders. And, and, and in your body and things like that. It, all of that, all of that is your, your energy. All of that is flowing through you. Don't allow people to upset that. Don't allow people to come in here with negative energy. If you're, I can diffuse the negative energy, but, but like I told you, I can, I can reroute that shit too. Hmm. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Ah. Uh -uh. uh -uh. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to be careful. You got to be careful because there are some people that just have negative energy and they just want something to feed off of all the time and they'll take you through it. And you'll be one of those people just giving and giving and giving and giving and giving until you're the crib keeper. And all of a sudden, you're, you're the girl in class that looks like the senior citizen. And you're not even 65 getting your pension and your benefits. So don't let people upset your peace respect yourself enough to protect your energy and your inner peace listen if somebody tell me you know what i'm not going to engage with you because i can see this going left i t hey i'm good with that cheers bitch i'm not gonna do it with you either and i'm not gonna get upset and emotional and bent out of shape about you not wanting to speak to me so why so what you know hi alberto <laughs> hmm. I'm not upset. Listen, y'all. I, I mentioned Alberto because Alberto came under one of my uh, um, one of my posts and said that he was tired of seeing my videos uh, going up and down his timeline because they're stupid. And and I just implore anyone who doesn't feel like my content is for them. Well, bitch, simple bitch, stupid bitch, nasty bitch, ignorant bitch, dumb bitch, unintelligent bitch. Bitch, bitch, broke bitch, bareback bitch, 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 bitch. You do not have to watch my goddamn show. You don't have to watch it. I've been on this Facebook Live for over a year now doing the same show, doing my same shimmy. Alberto, uh, John Banks, Benji, Angie, uh, um, uh, Andrew whatever the fuck your last name is, y'all do not have to watch my show. 
Y'all don't have to watch it. It's not meant for you. Your brains can't handle it. You might get an aneurysm trying to understand some of the concepts that I'm bringing you. And I know it's hard to digest all of this KFC body that I have. But if this content is not for you, please unfollow, uh, unlike, unsubscribe. You don't have to be here. The young lady that was anonymous that said I was shopping at the Rainbow Lounge for my clothes. Listen, ma'am, sir, ma'am, sir, ma'am. You do not have to watch my show at all. Please don't. I implore you not to. Don't waste your time. Don't upset your inner peace. Please don't upset your inner peace. But listen, I love each and every one of y'all that do watch. I, I love you. I appreciate it. It has been a wonderful Wednesday night. Don't let anybody upset your energy. Don't let anybody shift your balance. And please, ladies and or gentlemen, don't let somebody try to get up in your universal studio now that you done got your tax check. <laughs> anyway, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube, I am just Michael LGT on YouTube. Go ahead and subscribe now because I'm going to be posting some lovely content later on. And I got a new segment that I want to do for the people that actually do want to watch. You know what I'm saying? Not Alberto or John or Andrew or none of them other broke bitches, bum bitches, basic bitches, bitch bitches, all of that. <laughs> but anyway, subscribe to my YouTube, Just Michael LGT. It has been a wonderful uh, Wednesday night. I will see y'all next Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Peace and love, y'all.